Now a follow-up to a story we first brought you here last week out of Springfield. Police there still trying to track down the person or persons who smashed or shot out more than 30 car windows. Authorities are reviewing newly released surveillance video from neighbors as they search for that suspect. Two News reporter Kristen Escow live in Springfield with a look at the new evidence. Mark and Brooke, I recently spoke with Springfield's police chief about these incidents. He says videos like the one you're about to see may help crack this case. Tonight, neighbors say they're still feeling uneasy as the search for suspects continues. In this doorbell camera surveillance footage provided to police, you can hear a pop as a car drives by and a car window is shot out. Police say they believe that shot came from this vehicle. I think it is childish. I think it's immature. I think it's unfair to people who go out every day and, you know, work hard for their vehicles and the, the things that they have. Alicia Watson's parents live on Corlington Drive, where this video was taken and several car windows were reportedly broken. She sent us this photo of her ex husband's car window shot out in another location in town. For me as a mother, that's terrifying. What if my child was in the car? What if my ex-husband was in the car? For now, Watson says she and others in the neighborhood are keeping their cars in the driveway, hoping not to become the next victim. They can't really afford to just go out and have a window replaced just because someone felt like, let's go shoot up people's windows, you know? It's sad. And there's no word yet of any suspect description or arrests. Anyone with information is asked to call Springfield Police. We're live tonight in Springfield. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.